All right, y'all, this is a 2001 Lexus RX 300. I had a misfire on my fuel injector and it had been running quite horribly. Limp mode, sometimes could only go five miles an hour up a hill. So what I did is I bought this guy. I got it off Timu. It's, um, I think it was like 60 bucks or something. And I'll walk you through the process of how to do it. So basically, what you're gonna wanna do on this one is you have to, I just cut a little access in the carpet because I don't care, but you gotta unplug your fuel pump because when you take out the relay, um, it takes, cuts off the EFI. So the whole ignition system, all the spark and all that's gone. So you get this guy hooked up, it's real simple. There's a fuel line, let me get my flashlight out. Down there, you can see where it's running to. There's no return on this one. So what I did was uh, just hook up that one, that fitting there. There are a bunch of fittings here. It was, uh, you'll just match it up, but it clicked in, it was this one here. There's no numbers or anything, but make sure it clicks in. Get this guy up to 50 pounds, 40 or 50 will work. I just got it up to 50. With this here, you turn it to the right to give it more. Um, this line will be closed. This is open right now because it's actually running off this bottle. Um, what you do, what I did, is I took fuel from that line I showed you down there. The fuel, there's the fuel line next to my, uh, the disconnected one. I turned the fuel pump on and pumped some fuel out and mixed it with sea foam in here. And um, I also added a little bit of ATF in there. And because I couldn't get locally, I couldn't get the stuff to actually make it run off this. If you buy fuel injection cleaner, injection, fuel injection, if you get the injection cleaner, it won't just run off it. It's because it's being bottle fed right now off of this system. Um, it has to run off it completely. The, um, the misfires went down to zero. Um, I have a snap-on diagnostic sitting right there and um, it's hooked up and it, it got down to zero. So now I've basically, it's still smoking like crazy because I have ATF running in it and sea foam. It's basically like 50-50 gas sea foam and then a little bit of ATF and um, that's just my little concoction. But the misfires are down to zero and it's running really level now. Uh, it'll save you quite a bit of money and time and this is the way I chose to do it because I didn't want to remove all this again. I, I already did the seal as you can see on the rear valve cover. That's When I bought the car that was what was wrong with it. I didn't want to take it all the way apart to get to that injector. So basically um, you know you're gonna feed air into this you get that up to 50 that valve is closed then you open it once you have solution in here and then you start your car and let it run I've done two cycles I figured why not run it twice since it was already hooked up but um, it works real well I didn't see any videos on YouTube about it so I figured I'd post one if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and as always, like and subscribe, man. You got to subscribe to my channel, man. It's the best YouTube channel in the world. All right. All right, guys. Dirty Diesel out.